Hello everybody, it's Glenda with Fraylins and Friends. And tonight we are going to decorate a dish. It's already baked and we just need to finish it off after this little intro thing that I usually do. <laughs> Okay, what I'm going to need tonight is my dish. You can see that I marbled with the, I marbled the red and the white, and I don't have any blue clay. So that's what the project is for tonight. <laughs> We're going to put some blue in there. So what I've got is I've got my dish, I've got my blue paint, and I've got some foil, and I've got a paintbrush, a little one. What I'm going to try is kind of a drip <laughs> and a swirl. We'll see if it works. I've seen it done. I don't know if it'll work for me, though. Okay. Now, it kind of slid off to the side of the... But it kind of gives it more of a shell look, I think. So, it, it slid off to the side of the, back of the upside down bowl that I used. Which is the same one I used last time but which made it kind of higher on one side but that's okay because I think it just gives it more of a like I said a kind of a clamshell look okay I want enough for it to drip I don't know if it's going to drip or not I don't think it's going to drip guys I may end up having to do more. Come on. I don't know. No, nope, it's not moving. Well, then I guess we take matters into our own hands. And I'm just going to make it look like oh I wanted to <laughs> look a little random but I don't like it uh, anyway Yeah, I'm I'm messing with it too much. I think I needed for my but what I wanted, which I think I kinda got, it was for it to look like, you know, it kind of burst on there. Which I was afraid if I put a big thing in the middle it would just it would just be <laughs> rolling around in there and make like a big glob. So let me try. This this is a little more porous clay. Maybe that's it's just holding the paint more. Get a pool of it in here. Come on. Oh. Well, that's kind of disappointing. It didn't do what I wanted it to do. I guess it should have been a slicker surface. But we will bring it to a bomb bursting in air sort of a spray here. <laughs> well, disappointed me more than anything. 
mean, it isn't ugly. <laughs> it's just not what I was hoping I would get. But that's the way things go. Sometimes it's the way you want it, and sometimes it ain't. But Joe will, he will put a gloss coat on this after it's dry. And see, that's a pool of it right there. It should have run. I don't know why it didn't run. It just doesn't make any sense to me. Oh well. It was such a beautiful dish for a while. <laughs> you gotta be able to laugh. I don't have any paper towels, so, oh, I wonder. I've already got what I'd consider a mess, so. Didn't really change it. middle is just eh, whatever once it's dried and has a gloss coat on it I don't think I'll be able to sell it but at least I've got an idea what not to do next time sometimes we fail but we make the best of it it will be a nice soap dish <sighs> somewhere maybe in the kitchen <laughs> So next dish, we maybe not do this thing, this kind of thing, especially with if it's porous clay like this, because this just soaked right in. I didn't think it was all that porous until I did that. But happy 4th of July. I know, it's, it's, there's still another day, but I wanted to get in there early. Ah, uh, shoot. I have no, well, no paper towels. Ah. I just got paint all over my arm. Holy cow. Well, I will meet you in the other room because I have a little something to read to you. A little while back, I entered a writing contest called the, the NYC Midnight 100 Word Microfiction Challenge. We had 24 hours from midnight to midnight. And it had to be 100 words. My category was fantasy, fairy tale or fantasy. And the action was, or voting, and the word that I had to include was sink. Now I got this information all right before I started the challenge. So, it's the sink of invisible ink. It's a fairy tale that I wrote with those parameters. Okay. On the first spring day, old fairy Dara died. As customary, 100 fairies each found a tiny new leaf to vote on with invisible ink. Their tears filled the notch in the tree where they deposited their ballots. It became the sink that reveals invisible ink. Dry-eyed Kara, who coveted fairy elder status, voted her name ten times. From 100 
ferry voters counted 109 names from the sink. All but 10 spelled Mara. As Kara cried and flew away, the tree filled with songs of the fairy spring. I hope you've all enjoyed tonight. Things doesn't, don't always turn out the way you want. So, well, that's how it is. You fail enough times and you get through life with a bunch of failures and a few successes. So, oh golly, so this night was not my best, but maybe it'll be loved for that fact. <laughs> Good night, and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>